Poisson probability distribution. Again, so Poisson probability distribution, kaya siya tinawag na Poisson probability distribution because it was named after the French mathematician Samuel D. Poisson. And then when we, so when we say Poisson probability distribution, ito yung mga probability that occur in a rare events because yung occurrences niya or yung successes na mangyari yung isang event does not follow any pattern and it is unpredictable. Hindi mo agad uh, mahuhulaan or hindi mo ma-identify agad yung probability na mangyari yung isang event because wala siyang pinapakitang sign. Ginagamit si Poisson probability distribution kapag ka measured natin with respect to interval and the interval may be in terms of time, space, or volume. So, ang formula na ginagamit natin sa Poisson probability distribution is the P of x equal x equals mu or the mean time, uh, raised to x times e raised to negative mu over x factorial. So, kung mapapansin nyo sa formula, meron tayong e. So, ang E, makikita nyo yan sa calculator. Ayan yung scientific calculator. Itong LN, ang second function yan is the E. For example, shift LN. Ayan. So, again, ang pagpindot, ulitin ko, is shift and then si LN. So, ayan, lumabas si E. Okay. Another is, meron din kayo nakikita dito ang x factorial. So, yung x is given yan. For example, 0, 1, or 2. So, factorial. Yung parang exclamation point, ang tawag dyan ay factorial. So, paano yan kinocompute? So, may kita nyo rin yan sa calculator. Ito ang x raised to negative 1. Ayan. Ito. Ang second function yan ay factorial. Like, for example... 3, pipindutin nyo lang yung shift, and then factorial. Ayan, tapos pipindutin nyo na yung equal. So, the answer is 6. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng factorial, for example, factorial of 3, ang ibig sabihin nyan ay 3 times 2 times 1 equals 6. Ganun din, kapag ka 4, pagka 4, factorial, so shift, shift, and then factorial, equals 24. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 equals 24. Pero since may calculator naman, mas madali kung ipindutin na lang natin sa calculator. Okay, so let's go back to the formula. So yung mu natin dyan is the mean is the mean number of occurrences in particular interval of time. So, kapag ka binanggit sa problem, the mean or the average, automatically, yun yung ating mu. And then, yung in natin is approximately 2.71828 or based on the Napierian logarithmic. Yung in natin, may kita nyo yan sa calculator and ang value niya ay 2.71828. And then again, yung x natin, o yung x natin dito na exponent, and yung x natin dito sa denominator is the number of occurrences or success nung event. And then p of x is the probability to be computed for specified value of x. Okay, so let's proceed to the sample problem. The problem is, a vintage car breaks down an average of 4 times per month. Using the Poisson probability distribution formula, find the probability that during the next month, month this vintage car will have 
So we have three uh, questions here. What is the probability that A, the vintage car will have exactly three breakdowns, and then B, at most two breakdowns, and C, is more than one breakdown. Okay, so, hindi hindi natin yung problema. So, meron daw isang vintage car. When we say vintage car, yun yung sasakyan na medyo makaluma na. Or old model na car. So, nagbe-breakdown siya. It means nasisira siya ng apat na beses. Average na yun na apat na beses sa isang buwan. So, gagamitin natin yung poison probability distribution formula. Kukunin natin yung probability or yung chance na next month, Yung vintage car na yun ay A, magkaroon ng 3 breakdowns, B, at most 2 breakdowns, and C, more than 1 breakdown. Okay, so for the solution, let mu be the number or average breakdown per month. So, kita naman natin si mu, ang sabi dito sa problem is, ang average daw na breakdown sa isang buwan is 4 times. And then when we say x... Let be the actual number of breakdowns observed during the next month for this vintage car. So, ang hanapin natin ay si X. Si X depende dun sa given sa A, sa B, and sa C. Okay. So, for the solution of letter A, sabi dun ang question sa letter A, is the probability that exactly three breakdowns or sa isang buwan daw, ay magkaroon ng eksaktong tatlong pagkasira nung sasakyan. So, therefore, ang x natin ay 3. And then, yung mu natin, kanina nabanggit sa problem na ang average breakdown ng car ay 4. So, ang x natin ay 3 since 3. And then, sa given, ang average breakdown ay 4. So, isa-substitute lang natin siya doon sa poison formula, which is the p of x equals x equals mu raised to x times e raised to negative u over x factorial. Okay. I-substitute natin yung 4 dito sa mu. So, 4 and then raised to x so raised to 3. And then e raised to negative 4 kasi ang e natin ay 4. So, negative mu is equal to negative 4 over ang x natin ay 3. So, 3 factorial. So, 4 cube or 4 raised to 3 is equal to 64. And then, yung e natin raised to negative 4. So, pag pinindot siya sa calculator, shift. And then, ln. So, lalabay si e. And then, ilalagay niya na si negative 4. And then, equals. So, ang answer is 0. 0.0183156388. So, ang sinulat ko na lang ay 0 0.0183156 So, pwede naman na putulin nyo pero kumuha kayo ng maraming values or digits para yung final answer nyo ay hindi lumayo dun sa pinaka sagot. Okay. So, next natin is the 3 factorial. So, paano pinatin si 3 factorial? So, 3 and then shift and then factorial. So, hanapin nyo lang yung factorial sa inyong scientific calculator kung hindi ganito yung calculator nyo. So, yung parang exclamation point. And then, equal. So, ang sagot ay 6. So, kaya ang 3 factorial is equal to 6. Next, 64 times 0.083156. So, 64 times... 0 0.0183156 equals and then divided by 6 so divided by 6 equals so kahit 4 digits na lang kunin natin so 0 0.1954 since ang kasunod ng 3 dito ay 6 so round up magiging 4 na siya so 0 0.1954 or 19.54% So kapag gagawin percentage Move lang tayo ng 2 decimal places to the right Okay, so for the letter A The answer is 0 0.1954 or 19.54% okay. 
Okay, so for letter B, the question is what is the probability that at most 2 break down? So, ang ginamit na word dito is at most 2. When we say at most 2, at most means less than. So, at most 2 means less than or equal to 2. So, pwede na natin yung state as x less than or equal to 2. So, ano yung mga number na sa kop ni x less than or equal to 2? So, pwedeng kasama si 2 kasi equal. So, ano pa yung mga number na mas mababa kay 2? 1 and then 0. So, pwede natin gamitin sa x is 0, 1, or 2 since ito yung mga number na mas mababa kay 2 and equal kay 2. The 0, 1, and 2. So, for the solution, ang hinahanap natin ay probability of at most 2 breakdown. So, the solution is P of 0 or 1 or 2 breakdown. So, ibig sabihin, kapag kaganto ang question natin, i-add natin yung probability ni 0. Ibig sabihin, hindi magkaroon ng breakdown. 1, magkaroon ng 1 breakdown. Or 2, na magkaroon ng dalawang breakdowns. So, i-add lang natin yung probability ni 0, 1, and 2. Kaya, naging P of X equals 0 plus P of X equals 1 plus P of X equals 2. It means, kukunin mo yung probability ng 0, kaya may formula siya dito, probability ng 1, then probability ng 2. So, tatlong formula ang gagamitin natin. Or yung formula natin, i-add natin ng tatlong ulit. Dito, ang gagamitin natin ay 0x. Dito, ang gagamitin natin ay x ay 1. Dito, ang gagamitin natin x ay 2. So, dito muna tayo sa p of x equals 0. So, 4, yung mu natin ulit is 4, given sa problem na apat na beses na nasisira sa isang buwan so given yung 4 lagi si mu is equal to 4 and then raised to x so ang x natin ay raised to 0 since yung probability na 0 tayo and then e raised to negative 4 again raised to negative mu kasi yan and then over x factorial so 0 factorial plus dito naman tayo ang gagamitin naman nating x dito ay 1 so 4 raised to 1 times e raised to negative 4 over, so x factorial, 1 factorial. Plus, dito naman ang gagamitin natin ay 2. So, mu squared times e raised to negative 4 over x factorial, so 2 factorial. So, computein mo to, ito, ito, tapos ipapag-add sila sa dulo. So, 4 raised to 0 is 1, and then pag Pilindot natin sa calculator, si e raised to negative 4 is 0 0.01831156. Over, pag pinindot natin sa calculator, si 0 factorial, so 0 shift factorial is equal to 1. Basta ang 0 factorial is equal to 1. Next is 4 raised to 1 is 4. e raised to negative 4 is ganun pa rin, 0 0.01831156 over x factorial sa so 1 factorial is 1 pag binindot sa calculator next mu ulit mu squared so 4 squared is 16 hindi ko nalagay dito si 4 ayan so 4 squared is 16 then e raised to negative 4 ganun pa rin 0 0.01831156 and then over 2 factorial is 2 kasi 2 factorial sa calculator the answer is 2. So, kukumpute natin to 1, for example, this one. 1 times 0 0.01831156 equals divided by 1 equals 0 0.0183. Kahit taga-apat na lang yung kukunin natin dito. And then, this one, kapag kinumpute din natin to 4 times this one divided by 1 is 0 0.0733 plus 16 times 0 0.0183156 divided by 2 is 0 0.1465. So, 
0.0183 plus 0.0733 plus 0.1465 is equal to 0.2381. So, the answer or the probability that at most two breakdown is 0.2381 or 23.81%. So, for the letter C, the probability that more than one break down. So, when we say more than one, means yung mga value na greater than one. Ano ba yung mga values natin na greater than one? Pwedeng two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Therefore, infinite values kasi lahat ng values na greater than one. So, pwede natin express as P of X greater than or equal to 2. Kasi kapag sinabing greater than 1, magsisimula tayo sa 2. Kaya pwede natin siyang state as P of X greater than or equal to 2. So, ang ibig sabihin ni P of X is greater than or equal to 2. I-add natin yung mga values or yung mga probability na greater than 1. So, the 2, the 3, the probability of x equals 4, x equals 4, plus, and so on and so forth. Kasi kasama pa yung 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. So therefore, there are infinite number of terms. Mahirap siya compute since isasama natin lahat ng values up to positive infinity or yung mga numbers na mas mataas kay 1, masyadong marami. So, kapag gaganto yung problem, ang gagamitin natin is the properties of probability distribution wherein ang total ng lahat ng probability ay equal kay 1. Means, the sum of all possible outcome is 1. Therefore, pag inad ko to lahat, kasama na yung mga infinite values, ang total niya ay 1. So, para makompute natin to since ang hirap nga ma-identify na itong mga infinite values dahil madami sila, pabalik ta rin lang natin. Ayan. So, consequently, yung mga values na P greater than or equal to 2, pwede natin gawin na i-minus natin yung mga values na hindi kasama dun sa 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. So, ang mga values na hindi kasama doon sa 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth is the 0 and 1. So, therefore, pwede natin silang dalawa i-minus doon sa total ng lahat ng probability which is 1. I-minus natin yung probability ni 0 and 1 para mak may makuha tayo ang value. So, pwede natin state as 1 minus P of X less than or equal to 1. So, ang sakop neto ay si 0 and si 1 since sila yung hindi kasama dun sa infinite values. So, probability of 0 and plus the probability of 1, imaminus natin yung mamaya sa 1. So, using the formula, which is the mu raised to x times e raised to negative 4 over x factorial, and then dito naman sa probability ng 1, Kukunin din natin yung kanyang uh, probability using the Poisson formula. So, i-add natin silang dalawa mamaya and then saka natin i-minus sa 1. So, since ang mu natin ay 4, so, raised to x, so ang x natin dyan ay 0. 4 raised to 0. And then, e raised to negative 4. Since e raised to negative mu yan, ang mu natin ay 4. Dahil given nga kanina 4. Over 0 factorial since ang x natin ay 0. Next, plus mu again, 4, raised to x, ang x natin dito ay 1. And then e, raised to negative 4, over x factorial, so 1 factorial. So, pag kinumpute natin to sa calculator, ang makukuha nating sagot ay 0 0.0183. Ito naman is 0 0.0733. So, pag inad natin silang dalawa is 0 0.0916. I-minus natin sila sa 1. 1 minus 0 0.0916 is equal to 0 0.9084 or 90.84%.